You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, B&B fans, Belinda from Soap Dirt here. And wow, is Hope distraught about Thomas walking out on her. And now she's got to deal with his irate sister, Steffi. And I know Hope Logan does not want to lose her man, but that means she's got to find a way to get through to Thomas. With that in mind, I have a little to-do list of three things Hope should consider if she wants to patch up her relationship with Thomas before it's irretrievably broken. Let's dive in, but please click subscribe first if you haven't. So I have seen a tide of comments just on social media where people are assuming Thomas and Hope are done and that she's moving on with Finn. They think the soap is setting it up. They've given them a smush name of Hen, which to me lays an egg. (laughs) Anyway, I just, I beg to differ. And I have some info from an actor and a showrunner that confirmed to me that Bold and Beautiful is not heading towards anything with Finn and Hope Logan and Thomas are far from over. First, let's just remember what Steffi told Liam Spencer the other day. Her marriage is strong. They're going to get through the Sheila aftermath. They're not splitting. Her union with Finn is solid. So just from that alone, there's your first sign that B&B is not going there with Hope and Finn. Second, a couple of weeks ago, Tanner Novlin, who plays Finn, was on Bold Live, the little video chat that B&B producer Casey Kasprike does fairly regularly. And they both seem to shut this down as well. Tanner said, quote, Hope is pretty preoccupied with Thomas. And then Kasprike said firmly, Hope is with Thomas. Also, the Finn actor said about his character, he'd have to battle Thomas and that might be a mountain to climb. And then he added, Finn just needs someone to talk to. That relationship, as in between Hope and Finn, seems, quote, pretty platonic to me. So my takeaway from their chat was they were trying to quash the rumors and the clickbait and all that. But of course, we'll see how it goes. For now, Finn is nowhere on Hope Logan's mind. Not at all, not a shred. And for that matter, neither is Liam or any other man. She is distraught that Thomas Forster walked walked out after she rejected his most recent proposal, complete with the grand gesture of designing that gown for her, which in my opinion, by the way, looks a lot like one he designed for her a few years ago as a showstopper for an HFTF fashion show. Other than it's sleeveless, I'm going to show you guys a picture of that. If I remember to put it in, we'll see. Anyway, Hope's desperate for Thomas to stick with her, and she is enraged that Steffi's butting in and telling him to dump her. Although I do have to admit, I understand Steffi's concerns. If you've ever had somebody in your life, in your family, with mental health issues, you absolutely want to keep them away from influences that you think are negative or triggering, all right? I I understand that, but still... Hope loves Thomas and she wants to convince him to be patient and give her the time she needs. So here's three things I think Hope can do. And I can't wait to hear your comments. Agree, disagree. If you've got other ideas of how she can turn this around. Number one, I think she needs to convince Thomas that she really loves him. Make him hear her. It's like he didn't hear that thing she said because all he was hearing was the no, I won't marry you. The shock of that after he'd convinced himself that she was going to say yes was a lot. And I think there was just the roar of rejection in his ears. So he didn't process her finally saying those three words. Also, I think he didn't react to her saying, I love you, because he already felt the love she has for him, even though she hadn't said it out loud. You know, actions speak louder than words. What's very funny to me is, again, on soap social media, people splitting hairs and saying, yeah, she said she loved him, but she didn't say, I'm in love with you. These are the same people that have been going on for months. Hope doesn't love him. She's never said it. And now that she said it, y'all are trying to put another hoop for her to jump through. She loves that man. Just accept it. I know you don't like it. You don't like the writing. That's fine. But she said it. She's in love. Anyway, so I think a grand gesture from Hope, you know, writing, I love you in the sand or something like that, or 
uh, and I, I heart Thomas shirt that she wears at the office, some kind of grand gesture, you know, a big, please hear me, Thomas. I really do love you. Put it on display for everybody to see. I want a future with you. I really do. Please don't throw away what we built. That kind of big grand gesture. And I do think he will relent. So Number two, and she's already doing this thing I'm about to suggest, but I think she needs to make it clear to him that she is doing it. And that is Hope fighting everyone to be with him. She needs to fight Steffi harder, clearly. You know, fight Liam, fight Finn. If he comes back around with his BS about Thomas being a killer or, you know, undeserving of her, she needs to fight Deacon. Although her dad may soften now that he lost all nine toes. Not that I believe she's dead. And fight Brooke, who actually has softened as well. So that may be less of a fight than with Steffi. Fight for your man if you want him, girl, and let him know that you are fighting for him. I think that would mean a lot to him. And number three, the last thing on the to-do list, list as a Hail Mary. If the other things are not enough to patch them back up is Hope can propose to Thomas, but set a date way away from now. She says she wants a future with him, but she said she's not ready to get married right now. Okay. She didn't say she doesn't want to marry him ever. She just needs more time. And Thomas knows he didn't give her the time that she asked for or she needs. He knows he's partly to blame for this situation. So I think Hope suggesting a compromise that gives them a year or even more to work through whatever residual issues she has over her divorce from Liam and all that would be good. Put the ring on after proposing to him or propose and ask him to put the ring on her and then tell him a date she's picked. Even if it's two years off, even if it's literally like 2027, I think Thomas would be happy. They can always move the date back or up. I think more so than her walking down the aisle to him, Thomas just needs a tangible sign that he's her forever man. And putting the ring on her finger does that even if she's not ready to be Mrs. Forrester next week or even next year. You know, there is a compromise that could be had. We'll see how it goes. I expect more people who hate them together to kind of push the Finn thing. I'm talking about fans and the whole he's a bad guy, not a romantic lead thing. But I mean, clearly, at least in the eyes of writer and showrunners, they have redeemed him. They're moving forward with the idea that he is redeemed and is a viable romantic lead, whether viewers like it or not, they're doing it. He is not going to go crazy over this rejection. He's not going to go gaslighting or running people off the road. Frankly, I just see him as sad. That's what I see. He's he's crushed. His little feelings are broken. But I think Hope Logan is going to kiss it and make it better. And she and Thomas Forrester are going to move forward because that seems to be what the powers that be at Bald have in mind. So what do you think Hope should do next to win back her man? Drop your comments here and please subscribe and come back soon because we talk B&B seven days a week here on the number one most followed soap opera channel on YouTube. And this is your host, Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 